Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain. And we're here at Anderton's Chill Lounge, enjoying a nice caffeinated black dark beverage of joy. We certainly are. Oh, I've drunk mine, unfortunately, so I'm going to have a strawberry instead. We've got some cool new pedals from the chaps at Boss. They're Boss. They're Boss. Now, somebody, very clever, and probably with a degree in time travel, um, came up with a new processor for Boss called uh, a multi-dimensional processor. Wow. So, every one of these pedals that I'm about to show you somehow, multi-dimensionally, um, analyzes all the different frequencies and tones and everything that you're playing and does weird shit to it. So, there are three pedals. The Adaptive Distortion. Which sounds like it should be a Decepticon. It is a Decepticon. You wait. <laughs> it's looking for the All Spark. It's broken. It's still a pedal. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so this, Adaptive Distortion, apparently um, analyzes the dynamics and the sort of the frequency harmonics of the notes that you're playing and applies a type of distortion that keeps your sound tight. Is that through the cross dilute emitter frequency level? That's correct. That's the button, the first second one in. Um, Wait, press that button again. Back in the room! Back oh, in the room! Wow! It's okay. That was amazing! <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that reading what this does uh, has given me any indication whatsoever as to what it's going to do. So we'll plug this in in a minute. We're going to find I'm excited to find out because I do love me some boss. They are boss. And also, they? can I say, mm. awesome looking colours. Cool colours. They're yeah. sexy colours. They are sexy colours. <laughs> The multi overtone is possibly one for all you guys out there that like the weirder sounds. It's a great price as well. It's naught pounds. Yes. <laughs> um, multi overtone um, apparently again takes the harmonics of your sounds. Is it like and, a harmonizer? A harmonizer. Yeah. Um, but not necessarily in a way that you might use a harmonizer. I think what's going to happen is you're going to play a chord and it's going to pick out the harmonics of that, accentuate those harmonics, and create these big synthy kind of guitar tones, uh, okay. I think. <laughs> Using the multi-dimensional processor. Um, and the last one, which I suspect is probably the most familiar territory. Terra Echo. Terra Echo. <laughs> Which again uses the multi-dimensional processor, uh, but now for echo, and apparently it creates the lushest, biggest, nicest multi-dimensional echoes you've ever heard. Well, it's so, like some super competition because Boss make really good delay pedals. They do. Stereo, mono, mon or stereo. Um, anyway, I think to be honest with you, I don't really understand any of what I've read about what these pedals do. So the best thing for us to do is go and plug them in. 
We're uh, back in the land of darkness and noise. I've got my three pedals lined up, the three new boss ones here. So we're gonna go through them one at a time, and then I'm also gonna combine, or Rob's gonna combine, uh, what you can do with the sort of terror echo and the multi-tone, uh, multi-overtone. But first we're gonna start with the adaptive overdrive. We've been playing for a little bit here, just getting some sounds. And how would you describe, we, we've both kind of, uh, we it's don't like know it, how this is gonna work on YouTube, but. It kind of compresses it and then lets it out. That's what, you, you, you hit a note, and you kind of, it feels squeezed and almost a little bit artificial. Yeah. But then as you let it sustain, it kind of seems to add in. I tell you what it's all like. All that sort of feedback harmonic. It's like isn't it? if you listen to Nuno Betancourt on the um, Porno Graffiti album, when you get that really chunky kind of digga 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 he man woman hair type rhythm tone, mm -hmm. but then the lead sounds very sustained and kind of um, saturated. Do you think that, that that that's the purpose of the the multi dimension thing? Is, yes. Is, is essentially that hip, like do, 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 yeah. Well, it's very I tight can... and compressed, and then as soon as you go into any sort of lead. Let's have a listen. Think of that. It kind of, it's percussive. Yeah. When you hit the strings. So, yeah. So, so just to show, if you just hit hit some some single notes and let it ring. So, because I'll just of attack. I'll twiddle the knobs so you can see kind of how it works from a sort of a low gainy sound through to a high gainy sound. Rob will just play, yay, and uh, you'll enjoy. <laughs> Good. I have to say, it's very it's, good. The weird thing is, I first plugged into this, and it sounds a bit artificial, and I sort of took an instant dislike to it. And then actually, the more I got into it, the more I realised that, do you know what? It, there's a certain. I did like the 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 the, the, the sustain, the harmonic sustain. Yeah. Uh, and I kind of thought, do you know what? For actually, do you know what? It's not just another drive pedal. It's a different drive pedal to perhaps everything else that's on the market. Mm. Um, and and worth a shout, I think. I quite it's like that. It's an adaptive one. Moving along to the MO2, the multi overtone. Yes. This is the weirdest one of the three by well, a long way. Um, and essentially, we have three modes here uh, a balance between the direct and the affected signal, and a tone and a detune. And I'm going to show you what those three modes do, but essentially, they just layer different types of overtones over what Rob's going to play. So we'll start in mode one, and we'll leave the balance about 50 50 between direct and effect. Might be a bit over wet that one, so actually, I think. We'll probably just leave it there for demonstration purposes, but you, in, a, in a real situation, you might go a bit less. But have a listen. What's that pipe open thing they do in ice hockey matches? <laughs> that was mode one, this is mode two. Oh, it's got like a thing. Wow. And 
and this is mode three. See what that sounds like with the adaptive overdrive? Yes. Well, not really. I'm going to leave it yes. on that. That mode three is like, it's definitely, it's the bass end coming in. It's acting a bit like a, an octave type uh, pedal. Still. So I'm going to put a bit of the uh, the drive pedal in and, and the overtone together. Hit me. Badass. Yeah, so that was uh, like a bit in Prince. Yeah, I don't know, Michael Jackson. Do you know what it sounded? It did sound a bit like there was. I remember the Prince Batman album had these <laughs> kind of weird. It's 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 weird pedal, isn't it? The multi overtone. Anyway, on to um, I don't know. If it's my favourite out of the three. It probably is my favourite, but the adaptive distortion is growing on me. So uh, oh, we need to move the camera over though. Okay, let's move the camera. So Terra Echo is uh, again a multi dimensional delay pedal. Uh, Going to just go through some of the sounds here. It does this. I can't even describe it, you're going to have to hear it, but this weird swoopy delay thing. I'll start with some harmonics because I noticed the harmonics um, particularly bring out the kind of laser gun effect. Now the cool thing is as well, this pedal has two inputs and a stereo output, so you could use it with a stereo keyboard if you wanted to. Uh, we've got it with a guitar. I am going to put the multi overtone in stereo into the Terra Echo and it does kind of make some mega sounds. Just so you guys know, um, what we're, the rest of the rig here is a, a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, a Marshall JVM 210, uh, and we're powering the pedals from the uh, Decibel 11 Hotstone uh, power supply. Uh, the pedals do work on batteries, but as you guys, if you know, if you've had pedals before. This is a Chapman Guitars ML3, and this is a Chapman Guitars Cap 10. And uh, any kind of pedal that's digital tends to draw batteries real fast, so always, I would always recommend using a power supply for those. So here's the Terra Echo. I do like that. Okay, there's another cool feature on here, which is like a freeze feature. And it, essentially what happens is you play the big chord, you kind of simultaneously stomp on the pedal and keep your foot on it. And what it will do is it will infinitely keep the delay of that it's chord. It's like an going, ambient pad. Yeah, so that yeah. you can play over the top of it. So choose a chord that you'd like to play over the top of it and count me in okay, on one, three. Two, three. <laughs> As you can see, I must admit, I, I, I think there's a lot of interesting possibilities with this Terra Echo. What happens if you combine all three of them? So well, first of all, I'm going to put the multi overtone in with the Terra Echo, because that's going to give you essentially multi harmonics and then multi harmonical um, on the delay as well. I don't even know if that's a sentence. but It is now. It is now. Thank you. 
gotta say, that is a classic example of how a riff becomes a song yeah. that only works if you've got the pedals yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you just played the riff without the pedals, yeah, yeah. it would sound interesting, but not not, not that not, great. Yeah, yeah. With the pedals, it's all of a sudden it's like there's an intro to a song. Yeah. Nailed yeah, yeah. that one. <laughs> it's like that's so cool. Yeah. Try Sorry it with the game. Well. No, no, it's it, good. It's good. That's really, really cool. It's really cool. It's, it's the crazy end of cool, though, isn't it? I like uh, it. It's, it's Can I play? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it reminded me... Oh, I, it reminded me of like a Jamiroquai kind of, like you can imagine oh, yeah, the bass yeah. player giving yeah. that sort of... Sounds great. It does sound great. Yeah. Let's just do this for the rest it's of the quite, afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> Boss pedals. Boss. These were boss. They were boss. They were really, really good. Um, this was the say, most fun we've had with boss pedals in a long time. Yeah. I must, you know, I feel a bit bad really now because Don't feel it's kind of like for the last two or three years, I've kind of gone down a sort of a not anti-boss journey, but a sort of a but a sort of um an assumption that there's always something better if you just kind of, you know, look at some of the more specialist and boutique brands. And I've kind of labeled Boss as a bit of a sort of, you know, yeah, they're all right for the money. Um, but, you know, personally wouldn't use them. And I have to say, the last two videos we've done, we did a, we did a, a Sound Like Jimmy Page video. It started with the game pedal, didn't it? Yeah, with the 39 pound Boss SD1 that just, just made everything sound good. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, okay, maybe I've been overlooking this one. And then these ones, which, now none of these pedals are gonna end up on the sort of you know the, the, the pedal board of your your blues guy just sort of you know doing his chops in a in a you know rock and roll band, but for experimentalist kind of stuff and yeah. have, you know some of the sort of the tighter high gainy stuff yeah I I I mean some of the tones that you got with the Terra Echo and the multitone overdrive well, they were very they're creative just, they're just tones, new sort of tones yeah and they, they were very like, good for writing inspiration yeah. and that kind of thing. and anything you put through it just kind of sounded nice. I think it did sound like, how am I going to say this? I think if you wrote a song with that sound, and then someone else wrote a song with exactly the same pedals, I think but it using had, exactly the has same a specific kind of and sound. And the same lyrics. No. <laughs> no, it just has a very specific sound that people will pick up as being these pedals. So I think it's, it's a double-edged sword. Inspirational. And um, yeah, but good. Really good fun. A very you, easy. You, play I, I like too. the inspirational. And what is the double-edged sword word opposite of inspirational? Yes. And uh, mm. I, I can't think. <laughs> but no, what I mean is, if you write a great song with these pedals, it's going to sound like these pedals. But that's the problem, isn't it? It's a good thing. Uh, I don't know. I like the. I think who's going to buy the adaptive distortion? Just basically, it's guys. It's a higher gain pedal. It's not a blues pedal, is it? It's a higher gain rock out pedal. I think it's probably just going to appeal to a guy that... Um, this is aimed at the new metal market. This is aimed at, at people that want to sound like Periphery and people want to sound, you know, like Tesseract yeah. and, and they want the spacey, strange, echoey weirdness. I think you're and they right. they want the tight-focused gain sounds, you know. I think you're right. Especially the multi... I mean, if you get a gig playing... Um, at an ice rink, an yeah. American hockey kind of game, and you've got to do that, duh, 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 and you can't play the organ. Well, but also this you've is got, a, you've got to have this. You pedal, get some you? if you want J-pop type rock sounds. Who? J-pop kind of stuff, just like Japanese rock. Oh, Japanese pop. pop. Multi-overtone. 
never heard of Jay. I think I'm so out of touch. I've never heard of it's half fine. these bands that he's talking about. It's finally double edged inspiration. If never you want the kind of Tesseract periphery, kind of spacey ambient randomness, maybe some of the carnival type tone. Terra Echo is really an affordable solution yep. to some of the more high end delays that you can get nowadays. That's uh, my favourite. Yeah, I think it's close to my favourite too. I think the adaptive distortion was very good. Probably the best distortion boss has come out with in a long time for me. Yeah. So, marks out of five? I'm going to give this one four out of five. Really? I, yes. I, I'm going to give it four and a half out of five. Okay. Just, I, I, I wasn't sure we were going with a half mark. Well, I can have, you can have a half mark. Because if I'd been out of ten, I'd have given it nine, you see. So it's four and a half. Three and a half out of five. I would go, I just don't know where I would use that pedal, and I'm not even sure what it's for. It's a luxury pedal, isn't it? So for me, I, would never, I wouldn't buy this pedal. Adaptive, I'm going to go four and a half out of five. Four and a half, yes. I, I'm going to go four, because I initially didn't really like it, and then the more I got into it, the more I liked it. Yeah. Maybe. So uh, I think when you combine that the three that of that. them oh definitely the blue one when and the white one when you combine the three of them I'm going to they, go four when they combine them they do actually become a terabot <laughs> <laughs> look at this look <laughs> so well there you go and how much do they cost <laughs> I actually don't know uh, I don't think they're the cheapest boss pedals that you can buy but uh, I'm afraid for that cliffhanger you're going to have to go to the Anderson's website to find which out which you'll find in our description link <laughs> down below. Well, I've been Rob Chapman. And I've been the captain. This is a plectrum.